Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakak, Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. Salutations to you brothers that are doing the work sincerely and truthfully. Um, we are the Sheba Barea camp, and we're just going to get right into it, man. Okay? So, yesterday, uh, Jay Z and oh, J Electronica and Jay Z dropped an album called A Written Testimony. So, we're here to give you the biblical breakdown. Come. Okay, so let's get right into it, man. Okay, Come. what you got, brother? Uh, you want me to go? Yeah, the, yep. Islamic cut. Yep, right? yep, yep. All right, so this is out of the Quran, right? So we're going to read out of the Quran because what these guys is doing, they mixing the Israelites. They keep saying the children of Israel, Zion, Ezekiel's will. And then they keep talking about the Quran, Muhammad. Farah Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad, and it, it, it's just total confusion, man. And this is not a written testimony. This was never written, man. We're going to show you what was really written according to the scriptures, according to the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Rakaq, Kodash. Okay? You got what you got, brother? Yes. All right. This is uh, Surah 2 and, 20, and 122. So we're going to start, normally, we started off with a biblical, we're going to start off in your understanding, your logic, your Quran. Right. All right, go ahead. Old children of Israel. Old children of who? Old children of Israel. Old children of Israel. So in your Quran, it's talking about the children of Israel. You can never not mention us, man. Come on. We are the chosen. That's why we mention everywhere, man. Okay? So you ain't you ain't gonna just change the narrative now because you're worth a billion dollars or you're you're nice with rapping and putting words together. We here to correct you, Jay Z. We here to correct you, Jay Latronica. Come, good. O children of Israel, remember my favor which I have bestowed upon you. Break it down. Yeah, remember the favor that the Lord bestowed upon the children of Israel. Mind you, this is written in the Quran, right? And what was the favor that the Lord gave of the children of Israel? We're talking about the covenant, the promises, the testimonies. All right. It says, upon you, and that I preferred you over the worlds. Mm. All right? So that's showing you. It's an apocryphal. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, it talks about, um, it should be like spittle. Mm. Yeah, good. Now, bring it up, bro. Um, I was going to get that scripture, too. Okay. Oh, I'm going to. So he said he chose Israel over the world. And that's in your Quran. So the first thing that they started off the, um, the, uh, the album with was an intro to Minister, uh, Farrakhan, and you know, and he's not a minister of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. He talks about we trying to find who are the children of Israel. And then he and he says, uh, read, um, read yeah, 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 yeah. You want me to read it? Yeah, read it. All right, so like you said, like the um, elder was saying, the first song is called The Overwhelming Event. And Mr. Farrakhan, he says, um, I don't want to waste any time. I asked the question, who are the real children of Israel? And I'd like to answer it right away. It says, go ahead. Okay, let me keep going, keep going, keep going. It says, he says, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has said that Almighty, the Most High, says Allah, which his name is not Allah, man. It's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, revealed to him that the black people of America are the real children of Israel. And the Most High is not dealing with black, man. Right. You dudes got to get off this blackly black stuff, man. Okay? The Most High is dealing with Israel, the people, the chosen people. Because guess what? In the last days, 
We're going to look like all nations according to the Bible, man. Mm -hmm. All right? That's right? And I'm going to get a precept real quick. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 10. But the Most High have revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of the Most High. For what a man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth not no man, but the spirit of the Most High. Mm. Okay? So this thing is a spiritual thing, man. This is about the righteous and the wicked, man. Uh. Period. That's it. You dudes are nothing but Crayola prophets. <laughs> That's it. Our people are easily galvanized or can easily be deceived. So I like it, wrong word. Could easily be deceived if you bring color. Okay? Guess what? You have people that look like us that's wicked as all hell. That's right. The so-called white man, he's wicked also as, as all hell. But then you have people that might look like him that's righteous, man. That's right. But when you say black and white, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, these dudes don't have no answer, man. Right now, we're in a time of uh, 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 coronavirus. You, you don't see a lot of these guys making up a lot of uh, white supremacy videos no more nope. because they limited. Yep. When they come to prophecy, they don't, they don't really, they can't talk about that. They wasn't given that knowledge, man. So this thing is a spiritual thing. It ain't talking about no black or white thing, man. That's right. Let me get uh, the book of Sirach 11 and 2, if you don't mind, brother, real quick. Yeah, another one, too. All right, come on. Yep, yep, hold that. Just hold that. Mm -hmm. This is Sirach 11 and 2. Commend not a man for his beauty, mm. neither abhor a man for his outward appearance. Break it down. So you're not supposed to, uh, you're not, you're not supposed to uh, give a person praise, right, for their beauty, for their right? look. Yeah, because he's black. Oh, right. this is just a truth because he's black. You know. Right. And neither hate a man for his outward appearance. So you know you judge him by the, uh, by the flesh. Right. I got a free sub too. With the so book of Sirach 26 and 33. And I will scatter you among the heathen. So if we scattered among the heathen, what do you think gonna happen? Jake was having sex with the heathen woman. Mm -hmm. So when you get dudes that look like Blake Griffin, Stephen Curry, mm -hmm. Luca Donich, mm -hmm. Bruce Lee's, mm -hmm. you know, hey, when Jake went to Vietnam, yeah. they was laying with all the Vietnam women. Right. Yes. Those babies are Israelite babies also. What about the Native Americans? Right, what right. about the Hispanics? You ain't mentioned, you said the blacks. Mm -hmm. It says, and I will scatter you among the heathen and will draw out a sword after you and your land shall be desolate and your cities, and your cities waste. That's it, brother. John. And land backing, we got John 7 and 24. It says, judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Judge right, and, yeah, break it down, break it down. Judge righteous judgment, man. So again, like the elder was saying, it's not a black or white thing, man. This is a righteous thing. So here it is. When you're doing that, you're going against the law, statutes, and commandments because you're causing division. So when you're trying to say because somebody looks like so-called Moab that they can't be an Israelite, you just label it to so-called dark-skinned people, man, which is going totally off because you can't judge somebody by their color. You got to judge them by the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. That's, about, that's, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know, that's the first thing I wanted to tackle. Yeah, um, you, want, you want to go back to the um, Quran? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, you, you want some? No, it was, it was more on that when you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You want... No, no, finish, finish that, brother. Finish that Quran. Yep. All right, I got another one. This is a, a, a Sora 2 and 40. O children of Israel, remember my favor which I have bestowed upon you. And he's talking about the favor again given to who? The children of Israel, right. not uh, um, Ishmael, all right? It says, no upon you. Well, let's look up the word favor then. Yeah. Um, he really know uh, why he's looking right. up. Upon you and fulfill my covenant upon you that I will fulfill your covenant from me and be afraid of only me. All right? That covenant, man. Mm. You know, barayath. All right? Meaning a pledge, an agreement mm. that was given to who? The children of Israel right. with the Most High. They were given that. It was, they didn't say nothing about Ishmael. Okay? Right. So, you say, so another thing I'm going to say too, brother, mm -hmm. you see in the Quran, it talks about the Israelites, but in the Bible, 
It don't mention nothing about Allah. Exactly. It don't mention nothing about Ishmael, the Ishmaelites, mm -hmm. Palestinians, the the Middle East. Nothing, mm -hmm. uh, unless it's due to prophecy. Yep. Exactly. But the Most High Yahweh, when you read uh, 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 the Bible, He never talks about uh, giving reverence to another nation. Nope. Matter of fact, you can get that. He said Israel is the apple of my eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, not no other nation, man. But in their book, it talks about us. Right. In Egypt, they books talk about us. They call us the Hyksos. Why? Because we are the greatest people ever. We the ones that's chosen, man. Okay, brother, it's lock it. Yeah, the word favor, because what it said in uh, the Surah, um, Surah um, two and forty, it says, "O children of Israel, remember my favor which I have bestowed upon you and fulfill my covenant right. upon you." So favor says attractiveness. Beauty, you said the apple of my eye, right? So that's it right there. It says attractiveness, beauty, charm. It also says goodwill to show kindness to, to honor, reverence, worship, and goodwill. So the Most High actually gave gave uh, gave praise, approval, or favor to us who the children of Israel, support. Yep, that's no. it. That's it in um favor. I got a precept too. Good. We got Zechariah 2 and 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you touch of the apple of his eye. Right, man. That's it. So it ain't saying so it's talking about Israel. It's not yeah. talking about Islam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not talking about Ishmael. It's not talking about when you read the scriptures, man, talks only about Israel in the positive light of the Most High dealing with them, man. Oh my God, this is this whole story is cutting these people, and I don't understand why you Jakes. That's why they trying to mesh this in, cause their whole book you don't have a if they, you don't have a Quran without the Bible. You know what I'm saying? The Quran can't exist because they have to speak about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They have to speak about these things. All right.